I welcome you all to daily newspaper analysis of Shankar IAS Academy. Today's date is 20th of August 2024. Displayed here are the list of articles that we are going to discuss today. Now before getting into the news article, I have an important announcement for you. The most awaited pre-storming UPSC prelims test series 2025 batch 1 is starting from 6th September 2024. As usual, we have 48 tests to be covered. So if clearing UPSC prelims is your biggest nightmare, we have an option for you. Just enroll for it using the link given in the description. Along with that, we have a happy news for all the aspirants who are going to appear for the mains 2024 this year. The All India UPSC mains open mock test 2024 is open for registration. I have provided the registration link in the description. Just click the link register and test your preparedness for your mains examination so with these positive note let us get into the news article discussion this article is talking about quantum cryptography so to understand what is said in this article first you should understand what is this quantum cryptography so let us decode what does this word mean and then we'll try to understand this particular topic so what is quantum cryptography See, in simple words, quantum cryptography is a super advanced way of protecting your message using the rules of science that apply to really tiny things like particles of light or the photon. So, usually messages will be encrypted in the binary code. But when it comes to quantum cryptography, here the messages will be encrypted in the form of photons. So, by this way, it makes sure that no one else can read your message and if they try, you will know about it. Now here you might have a doubt why this quantum cryptography is very important. See any supercomputer it can decode the encrypted message that we currently follow and we also don't know whether we have been hacked or not. But in this new technology it is so secure that even these Powerful computers cannot crack it. So here comes the next question. What is the principle used to detect the interception in the quantum cryptography? The answer to this is Heisenberg uncertainty principle. See, according to this principle, while we measure one particular thing, the more we know about it, the lesser information we will get about the other aspects of a particular quantum particle. So this is what actually this principle means. Even if you don't understand what the principle is, have this basic understanding. A particle at a quantum state will be very precise. So, when a disturbance is happening to this precision, it will be easily identifiable. So, this is what exactly the quantum cryptography works on. So, any attempt to measure or interpret quantum particles will disturb the state of the particle and this will detect the eavesdropping. So, with this basic understanding about quantum cryptography, now let us see what are the efforts of India with respect to the quantum. So, the first important mission is India's national quantum mission. This was launched in 2023 with 1 billion investment by 2030. The main goal of this mission is to build 2000 kilometer of secure ground network and to develop quantum encrypted satellite communication. So, this is the very important mission from our government side with respect to the quantum physics. Now, let us see what are all the applications of quantum cryptography. See, as I already said, it enables secure communication. So, this can be used to protect the classified information from interpretation. Secondly, it can be used in financial sectors to secure transaction and customer data. So, this will ensure confidentiality of financial communication and reduce the risk of fraud and cyber attacks. The third important application is healthcare. Here also it protects the patient's data and ensure confidentiality of medical reports and test results. Then in telecommunication sector, it enables network security for high value data transmission. Then in critical infrastructure industries like energy, water and transportation, it can be used to secure their control system and communication network against cyber threat. Apart from this, any research and development organization that have classified information about their secrets and proprietary can use quantum cryptography to secure their secrets. Apart from this, it helps in securing the information with respect to the biotechnology fields as well. 
So these are all certain applications of the quantum cryptography. So it means that it can be applied in any field to secure the information. So with these points, now let us see about the limitations of quantum cryptography. See, firstly, it is expensive and requires specialized hardware. So it is not user friendly and requires a lot of initial cost. Secondly, it can work only in short distances. Beyond that, the signal gets weaker, making it less effective. It is also harder to send quantum keys over long distance without them losing their security. Apart from this, they have scalability issues. That is, it is hard to use the technology on a large scale like across entire country because of the need for special connection everywhere. Apart from this, even with quantum cryptography, you still need regular encryption methods to fully secure communication, especially for verifying who sent the message. Fifthly, there were hardware vulnerabilities. The security depends on the physical equipment. If the equipment has flaws, the system can be hacked. Since it relies on physical hardware, updating or fixing security issues is difficult compared to software-based systems. Finally, there are global security concerns. There is a concern that if one country become really good at quantum technology before others, it would give them a big advantage in terms of security which could change the balance of power in the world. So these are all very important facts that you have to remember about cryptography. Remember about quantum cryptography from the prelims perspective. Now let us try to solve a prelims question. Here three statements are given. The first statement says it can be used to create secure communication channel between certain levels. First statement says quantum cryptography can be used to create secure communication channels between certain locations. This statement is correct. Now the second statement says quantum cryptography is currently very busy and inexpensive to implement on a large scale. This statement is wrong. And the third statement says one limitation of quantum cryptography is that it requires special equipment and is challenging to use over long distances. This statement is correct. So the correct answer for this particular question is option B 1 and 3 only. So with these learned points now let us move on to the next news article. Take a look at this news article. This news article talks about grasslands in Gujarat. Now suddenly it is in news because of a study conducted by Kutch University. The motto of the study is to assess the suitability of bunny grasslands in Gujarat for restoration. According to the study, nearly 36% of the area is highly suitable and only 28% of it is suitable for restoration. So this is what the article is talking about. So in this news article discussion, let us revise about grasslands from the prelims perspective. First, we shall start with the role of grasslands in the ecosystem. See, they are ecologically very significant. For example, they serve as biodiversity hotspots and they also sequester carbon. They are known as the biodiversity hotspot because they support significant and unique species like Bengal floricon, great Indian bustard and etc. And they also help in mitigating climate change issues by storing lot of carbon. For example, Indian grassland, they alone store 1.4 billion tons of carbon. Secondly, they offer environmental benefits. For example, they ensure that the water cycle are regulated and they prevent flood from happening. A very good example for this is wet meadows of Ladakh. Apart from this, they help in soil conservation. That is, they bring stability to the region. So this way, they prevent large-scale landslides. A very good example of this is grasslands of Western Ghats. Apart from this, they provide livelihood support. For example, they provide grazing spots for the livestock and they also host a lot of medicinal plants. For example, the aloe vera, ashwagandha, or the medicinal species that can be found in the grasslands and a number of pastoral community including nomadic tribes of Gajar, Bakarwal, their livelihood is based on pastoralism, right? For pastoralism to happen, they require grasslands. So they serve as a feeding ground for livestock. Apart from this, they offer socio-cultural roles. For example, they offer recreation, a very good example for this is grasslands of Kasiranga National Park and they provide cultural significance. A very good example for this is sacred groves of northeastern India. So these are all the roles offered by the grasslands. Now let us quickly go through the challenges faced by the grasslands. See the first important thing is overgrazing. 
So what happens when overgrazing happens is when soil gets exposed, it loses fertility due to runoff. So this ultimately will lead to desertification and a very good example for this is the desertification that is currently happening in Rajasthan. Apart from this, agricultural expansion and urbanization also lead to degradation of grasslands. A good example for agricultural expansion is Punjab fields. Here the grasslands has been turned into agricultural fields and the infrastructure development that is happening due to urbanization. This is also facing a threat. A very good example for this is Bangalore's urban sprawl. So previously we saw about the human activities and the threats posed by them. Now let us see the environmental factors. The first thing is the climate change. Due to distorted rainfall and global warming, temperatures are rising and drought is occurring. Actually, this will lead to bushfires and lead to the degradation of the grasslands. Secondly, whenever an invasive species is introduced to the grasslands, they outcompete native vegetation and prosper. A very good example for this is Prosopis juliflora in Gujarat's grassland. Apart from this, there are certain socio-economic factors and there are certain policy and management issues. For example, we have conservation efforts for even wetlands, but we lack conservation efforts for grasslands. And there is also conflicting land use policies. For example, whether to prioritize agriculture or whether to prioritize urbanization. So this conflict is there. And when we talk about the socio-economic factors due to poverty level and lack of alternative livelihood, a lot of pressure is put on the grasslands. So this is also leading to the degradation of the grasslands. So, so far we saw some of the roles played by the grasslands. Then we saw some of the challenges faced by the grasslands. So with this understanding, let us solve uh, MCQ regarding grasslands. The first statement says, the Bunny grassland extend to both state of Gujarat and Madhya Pradesh. The second statement says Maldari community is normally associated with Bunny grassland. And the third statement says it has been demarcated as a reserve forest. See the correct answer for this particular question is option B, 2 and 3 only. So with this learnt fact, now let us move on to the next news article discussion. Look at this article about tuberculosis. Now suddenly tuberculosis is in news because India is set to roll out the BPALM regime for drug resistant tuberculosis that is TB. So in this news article discussion let us discuss about tuberculosis from the prelims perspective. As you all know tuberculosis is a contagious infection. It is caused by a bacteria called mycobacterium tuberculosis. So it affects primarily the lungs and spreads through air through coughing, sneezing and talking. According to World Health Organization data, every year 10 million people fall ill with tuberculosis despite being a preventable and curable disease. So remember, it is a preventable and curable disease. However, 10 million people per year gets affected by this TB. Nearly 1.5 million people die annually due to tuberculosis. And as per the data of National Health Institute, in 2019 alone, India has recorded 2 crore 24 lakh 4815 cases. When compared to 2020, this has reduced by 24.9 percentage. So, let us know about the types of tuberculosis. See, the first one is latent TB and the second one is active TB. In latent TB, the bacteria will be inactive in the body but in the future it can be active. Then in the active TB, the bacteria is actually active and it can cause symptoms and be contagious. This form of TB is required to be treated immediately. Now let us see about the causes of tuberculosis. See the first thing is inhalation of the bacteria. Since it is being contagious, inhaling the bacteria is the primary cause for tuberculosis. Secondly, using substances like smoking and alcohol. Then certain medical conditions like chronic kidney disease and silicosis can cause tuberculosis. Then weak immunity if a person has HIV or AIDS or if a person has diabetes or malnutrition, they are prone to tuberculosis. Apart from this, the geography of a region is also a cause. If the people are densely populated without ventilation, poor sanitation, TB could be prevalent. Now let us quickly go through the treatment for tuberculosis. They are treatable with a course of antibiotics. 
some of most common antibiotics are displayed here you can note it talking about the prevention the bacillus calmety gorin or the bcg vaccine can offer some protection against tb especially in children apart from this proper ventilation and wearing mask in high risk area can prevent tuberculosis from happening now let us quickly go through certain government initiatives about tb we have nikshay poshan yojana then we have national tb elimination program and some of other nutrition programs like icds iron tablets and anti anemia they all focus on ending tuberculosis so so far we have seen about tuberculosis its types how to prevent them their symptoms and some of the government initiatives so with this basic understanding let us try to solve a prelims practice question here two statements are given and the correct answer for the particular question is option b two only so with this we came to the end of the news article discussion if you like the video hit like do comment and don't forget to subscribe to shankara is academy youtube channel now thank you so much for listening